Hello, today we're talking about uh, threaded fittings. Uh, these are called uh, pressure fittings. Uh, pressure fittings are two types, socket weld fitting and threaded fittings. Uh, these are a collection of stainless steel threaded fittings. And this is uh, a threaded uh, cross. Now all these fittings are, are 3,000 pound. Uh, and I'll show you that this is, this is pretty thick. This is... Uh, a threaded uh, reducing coupling. This is threaded cap. Thread from here and capped on the other end. This is a threaded half coupling. This is threaded full coupling. This is threaded cross. This is threaded 90 degree elbow. This is threaded union. And this is threaded street elbow. Now, for comparison, let me show you. Um, this is um, a socket weld um, fitting, and, and you can see how it looks in comparison to um, a threaded fitting. If you look here, you know, the socket weld, the pipe slides in here, whereas in the threaded fitting, you, you thread the pipe. So threaded fittings are available in forged carbon steel, A105, A105 normalized. They're available in stainless steel. 304, 316, and they're also available in nickel alloys, um, also um, in, in duplex stainless steel. And our threaded fittings uh, are most commonly used in, in a 3,000 pound and in a 6,000 pound um, pressure rating. There's also they're also available in in uh, 2,000 pound. Uh, now to, to go into the brief detail of each of the components. Uh, this is a threaded uh, a 90 degree street elbow. This is how it looks like. Um, female end here, male thread here. So this is usually, if you see something like this, it's uh, a street a street elbow. And this is a union, um, threaded union. So this is a pipe sample that we have for the purpose of this video. We're using a carbon steel pipe, even though this is a uh, stainless steel fitting. But to demonstrate to you, this is how you do it. You, you thread it on and that's how you make a connection on, on a threaded fitting. This is a threaded cross. All four sides you can thread the pipe and make a connection. This is a, a threaded 90 degree elbow. Now the difference between a, a threaded elbow and, and a butt weld um, elbow is that you will notice that it's a much much tighter turn. It depends on your application. Thread fittings are usually available from half inch up to four inch. They're more common in about one inch, one inch and a half, two inch. Usually you will not see a lot of people using um, a three or four inch. Um, and most common pressure classification is 3,000 pounds. So this is a, a 90 degree threaded elbow and you can see it's much, much tighter turn, more than the short radius uh, uh, butt weld fitting. Not the elbow, it's much more sharper turn. This is a 45 elbow. Again, you, you thread the pipe right here and uh, that's how you make a connection. This is a threaded T. Uh, you can also get one. This is a regular T, but you can also get a, a reducing T where the branch is smaller than uh, the, the main run. And this is a threaded cap. Same thing uh, for one inch pipe. You thread it on and you cap the end of the, of the pipe or a nipple or a nozzle, whatever you have. Now these are different threaded couplings and we get this question a lot. What is the difference between a full coupling and, uh, um, and, and a half coupling? So this is a full coupling and the main difference is that full coupling has thread on both ends. So you can thread a pipe here, you can thread another pipe right here and, and make a full coupling. So this is a, a 3000 pound threaded full coupling. Now the same thing in a half coupling only threads from one end. So some people say that the half coupling is half the length, which is in many cases it is half the length, but the reason they're called half coupling is that you can only couple one half of the pipe. So if you thread it right here, uh, there's nothing to thread on the other end. That's why it's called half coupling. And they're roughly, roughly half the length. 
Now this is a reducing coupling, so this one is from one inch to three quarter inch. So if you want to connect, if you have a threaded pipe, one inch on one side and three quarter on the other side, then you can use uh, a threaded uh, reducing coupling and, and put a smaller um, connection on, on the other side. So in summary, threaded fitting uh, is uh, uh, threaded fitting is part of uh, pressure fitting. Uh, thread fittings are available in 2,000 pound, 3,000 pound, 6,000 pound pressure rating. Um, roughly 2,000 pound is not very common, but it 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 it, uh, it relates to schedule 80, uh, and uh, 3,000 pound is roughly uh, schedule uh, schedule 160. Um, and um, the the 3,000 pound uh, threaded fitting uh, has a pressure rating of 3,000 pound maximum. Uh, pressure rating. Now this is a little bit more complicated, it's not very simple. Pressure rating is a function of the temperature. So as the temperature goes up, the pressure rating goes, out, uh, goes down. Uh, they're available in, in forged uh, carbon steel, um, uh, A105, A105N, they're available in stainless steel, they're available in, in, in nickel alloys. Um, and we'll show you the difference in our other video uh, from a malleable iron fitting. A lot of people ask this question, uh, what is the difference between a forged a threaded fitting and a malleable iron fitting. Uh, so just to tell, tell you briefly, uh, a malleable iron fitting uh, is used for light industrial application, plumbing application. These threaded fittings have a high pressure rating, they're made out of a forged steel. Uh, one big difference is that malleable iron fitting is not very good with welding, whereas the threaded fitting you can weld. Again, this is a threaded fitting, uh, but, uh, but depending on the application, if there's a requirement to weld it, uh, then you'll be better off using a, a forged carbon steel. Uh, also, malleable iron fitting come in 150 pound, 300 pound rating, which you can make a comparison much lower, whereas the threaded fitting come in a 3,000 and 6,000 pound uh, pressure rating. Uh, that's it. Thank you.